And but when we lead with impact, um, with anything that we do, when we do it with passion and compassion, I think that's where the impact is. And so ultimately, in a nutshell, that's what I do. And that's why I consider myself a life purpose coach, because it's very important for everyone to fully understand their own purpose, their own life purpose. And so ultimately, in a nutshell, that's what it is. And then... Um, but what about you, Sonia? What can you tell us about uh, you if you can backtrack a little bit, you know, okay. your and all right. So about me, well, I came from a place um, a little bit over 10 years ago of um, not knowing my purpose and not really lead, living a life of fulfillment. From the outside, it looked great. The inside, I was actually, I felt like I was dying inside because I felt like there was so much more on the inside of me, but I, I just didn't even know how to go about it. And ultimately, I, it was like 20 years of me trying to search it out, you know, running into depression, a lot, a lot of depression, a lot of self-sabotage, and it dro brought me to a, a place of deep loneliness. And it wasn't until I really started um, seeking out a mentor to help me realize what was wrong with me. <laughs> I really thought something was wrong with me, and little did I know that it, I was lacking purpose. Ultimately, I was lacking purpose. And once I discovered what I needed to do, then I dove deep into personal development. I'm talking about Napoleon Hill. I'm talking about the Bible. <laughs> I'm talking about everything that helped me develop myself. And I faced, I, I had the courage to face my fears. I had the courage to take those baby steps that will take me to that next level. Like, oh my gosh, if I make this phone call, you know, will I be able to go to that conference by myself? Do I have courage? Do I have the confidence to, to go do this by myself? And all these tiny steps, you know, um, really help me to realize my purpose and to also build my confidence. And so doing that for a few years, I realized, wow, you know, how many women suffer from lack of purpose and confidence. And so when I really started, um, you know, um, realizing my own pain, then I wanted to help others realize, you know, help them discover their purpose. And I've been doing that for a while now, and I'm enormously um, uh, passionate about it. Um, I love what I do. I, I work very hard and I absolutely love what I do. And that is why I also love um, listening to stories. I love, um, you know, because it, it is through our stories that bring our transformation and our purpose. And I'm a very, very strong believer of that. And not to say that we haven't arrived, that, that we've arrived, I should say, because we haven't. We're in this world and, and we are constantly evolving and developing ourselves. But when we look back and to see how far we have come, it's like, wow, you know, we have been through some transformation, you know, and for mine, it was most definitely in the area of confidence. I had zero. I had absolute zero confidence. And now, um, you know, I'm a, not to say that I still don't get nervous when I go on stage. <laughs> I still do. It's, it's like that 30 second, like, woof, here we go. Here we go. But then when I, when I jump on, it's like, yes, this is where I belong. This is my purpose. And this is my why. But what, what, what was your situation uh, when you discovered first that you like a purpose? What <clears throat> were you, uh, what was your lifestyle, like your life like, right? Were you married? Were you kids? Yes, you yes. I, I was married and I had two children. And of course they were younger at the time. And I was a hairstylist. I was actually, I was a hairstylist for 32 years and I loved it. 
I loved being a hairstylist. And the most important part of um, why I loved it so much was because I was behind the chair asking women a bunch of questions and, and allowing them, you know, to hear the stories. However, I saw myself encouraging them, inspiring them, but I would walk away going, but that's not me. I'm not doing that for myself. So mm -hmm. here I was. Give me that advice. You know, I, I didn't know that I had that gift of empowering other women or people, but I would go home very sad, very sad. I had everything, but inside there was a deep hole. And it's because I did not know my purpose. And for sure, I didn't realize my purpose at that time. And so living a normal life, but there was something bigger on the inside of me. And, you know, and so that's, that's how it was. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that little bit of introduction about yourself, right? And now what I want to go over, Sonia, is go deeper now with uh, what we're going to be talking about today, right? So the t we titled this, How 21 Brave Women <laughs> Shared Their Story of Transformation and Success and Are Now Impacting Lives with Heart and Courage. And that's due to um, uh, a book that you have coming out. Yes. Uh, if you could please tell us uh, what you're going to be talking about today to us and why you're going to be sharing that with us. Okay. So I am first and foremost, very, very honored and proud to have these absolute incredible women leaders in this book. When you read their story of grit, authenticity, vulnerability, and you see the heartbeat of these women and how they transformed their own lives and now are leading, you know, themselves and others and most definitely, you know, have discovered their purpose. But I've had the wonderful opportunity to personally interview all of them. And I will tell wow. you, I walked away. I'm talking all 21 of them. I literally walked away transformed. Every single one has an absolute unique, powerful story, but it's deep and it's vulnerable and it's courageous. And when I listen to their stories, I realize that there are so many women out there that have stories, but haven't had the, the courage to to take it to that next level, to say, okay, what's my purpose? Because this is my story and, and I transformed, but they possibly don't even know how to go about it. And so these amazing women share how they go about their transformation. And I already know, I'm telling you, because I know their stories personally, I know that the book's gonna be a very huge success because the stories are very impactful, very impactful. And so it's gonna, it's gonna be incredible. And I wonder how is it that you got to tell them your, um, that you got them to tell you their story? <laughs> oh man, well, I'll tell you, I had this, I just That's, had a crazy, okay, I'll back up. Not just that, but even commit them to be put in the book, be public. Yeah, absolutely. So for about three years, I was doing events, which were called Destiny Talks events. And I think you've been to a few of them, Leo, where right. I interview women live, you know, and it turns into a networking event. And these stories are very, very impactful. And I was doing them on a, like every three months, like on a regular basis. And uh, last year, I, I was exhausted. I got really tired of, because there's so much that goes into an event. There's promoting, there's, there's just so many moving parts to, to creating events. And I found myself exhausted. And I remember coming home after the very, very last one. And I thought to myself, is there another way women can share their stories? And I'm just like literally having this dialogue with myself. And I immediately, I thought, oh my goodness, what if I put, you know, a lot of women into a book, you know? And then I thought, ooh, like, and I, same question, you know, I thought, 
how is that going to happen? How is this going to work? You know, but then I thought, well, why not? Because all the women I want to ask are going to be enormously busy because well, they're all leaders and everything. And so I, you know, had the idea of recording them, then transcribing the recording wow. into words. Okay. And then it goes to the editing. And so that's the whole, it, it was a long process. <laughs> and here's the amazing part is that I jumped into something uh, probably clueless, not knowing exactly how much was going to be put into the details, you know, for the book. I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad I jumped. And I tell you, it, yes, it was a lot of work. It still is a lot of work, but this book is going to be worth it. The and, and, and forgive me because I forgot to mention earlier that uh, you are an author, right? That you already uh, wrote the book, Butt Naked. Is it Butt Naked? Butt Naked Leadership. And the butt reason naked. why I use that topic is because it's about raw conversations. And when I first started here in Sacramento, I would always tell the, le the women leaders, I'd say, all right, you guys, we're going to get vulnerable here. We're going to get butt naked. And I always use that phrase. And so when I wanted to share my personal story, I thought, you know what? I think butt naked would be good for marketing. And you know what? I use that phrase all the time anyways. Um, so that's how that came about. But yes, I became an author actually um, three and a half weeks ago. I became yeah. an author for a butt naked leadership book. So yeah, you have a book. And even with that experience, you still had a lot to learn with these uh, Destiny Talks that is coming out now, right? Yeah, they, they're, they're, two ba they're two different babies. They're completely different. Um, yeah, I, I can't even explain right now how different they are, but they're definitely different. The Destiny Talks book is comprised of 21 women. So imagine that. That's a big fat baby. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then my book is just it's just mine. However, I still, you know, all the details and understanding how to author a book and all of that, you know, um, yeah, I've learned a lot and I'm still learning a lot. But it's it's a big goal that I had this year and I'm very excited about it because to me it's not only about the launch of the book, but it's launching, taking all of these women, giving them a platform and taking them to a whole new level in their own success, in the area of impacting, impacting lives. And honestly, at a heart level, that really is where my passion is, that, you know, that they've been impacted they've been transformed they're now leading others and now my goal and i'm sure it's their goal as well now to spread the word to get out there and to impact many 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 lives oh so that's that's the goal of the book but now if you can please tell us um what is it that you want to dive in in reference to Perhaps give us some little stories about the books or perhaps something that we can take from um, from the what you learn from the books, right? From, from interviewing um, 21 brave women okay. and, and share and dive in into the content that you wanted to share today. Okay. Well, I'll, I can give you like um, examples uh, of the stories because I really want everybody to get the book. But a lot of them, you know, yeah. As you all know, we, we all have, you know, um, circumstances that have happened in our lives and, and um, some are deep, you know, like um, some of the women have been through physical abuse, okay? And how, to, how do you come out of a situation where you have been physically, physically abused by a family member or, or a husband? or even in a marriage, because both of those stories are actually in the book as well. Uh, what about drugs? What about, you know, being exposed to drugs at such a young age? And how do you go about, you know, uh, facing society, feeling like it's always been okay, but in reality, wait, whoa, it's not okay. You know, trying to understand right from wrong. And what about, you know, mistakes from affairs? You know, what about... Um, not forgiving ourselves, 
you know, when we have made um, deep mistakes, you know, as a woman or as a mother, as a wife, you know, when we make really, you know, bad mistakes. And I think the hardest thing for, I would say women, but I think anyone in general is forgiving ourselves and being able to move on, you know, and, um, and, you know, just letting go and, and forgiving and coming back to that self-love and believing in yourself again and believing that your circumstance does not define you, but your purpose does define you. And I think, um, so these are, yeah, these are, you know, some of the stories that are in the book, very deep, very deep, very raw, but very transformational very beautiful, very, very impactful. Now that you see these women, you read their stories and then you see what they're doing now. And it's like, oh my goodness, that is incredible. And the whole purpose is for the reader to, to read the story and to go, oh my goodness, can I do this? Because I've been in that situation, but I never thought that I can overcome and the, the, and the answer is absolutely, we all have a second chance, but it's up to us to make that decision, you know, to, to like, again, to forgive ourselves, to love ourselves, to discover our purpose, to ask for help and to go and, and be, you know, be who you were called to be the greatest version of yourself, of ourselves. So so it sounds to me like the key of uh, overcoming those situations and perhaps becoming a leader, right? Or, um, or, or get to call to your purpose is based on what you say is recognizing to us or be able to forgive yourself and then be able to find a purpose Absolutely. To, to become the leader. Absolutely. It is so important to self-develop. It's so important to find out where you're stuck because if we do not, then there is absolutely no way that I can lead anybody or love the next person if I can't love myself. You see, if I can't break through those barriers that have affected me, it's very, very important that we heal and that we transform and, and we just keep moving forward, you know, because that is the place where we give everyone else grace because we, we've been given the grace, you know, so, so that self-development is, I, to me, it is vital. It has changed my life. It has brought fulfillment in my own life by realizing that, you know what, that the way I used to be does not define me. It does not define me. And I, I began by just, you know, giving, I'm um, saying affirmations. I, I will never forget, you know, years ago, it was probably like eight years ago. I always told myself every day, I would say I'm a powerful, influential, energetic leader. And I would say it every day I'm up and I'm not feeling it. Mind you, okay, I'm not feeling any of this. I'm feeling the opposite. I'm a powerful, energetic, you know, um, impactful leader. And I would just like say it over and over. And, you know, the funny thing is that when people come to me, those are the words they're using about me. And I'm just like, wait, 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 wait. Those are the affirmations that I was saying all those years. And now people are telling me, Nona, you're very impactful. You're very energetic. You know, and all that, I'm just like, oh my God, it's just so incredible. So, you know, speaking um, words of affirmation and, and, and speaking those things, that, you know, to, to ourselves is, is very important. I see that as a way of um, reprogramming our yes. chips, so to speak. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, if you want to put it in another way, right? We have yeah. so much noise programming to ourselves or... Um, you know, for history or, or, or th things that we tell to ourselves that, like you mentioned, you know, you, you were feeling bad even though you kept saying those things to yourself, but it's something um, that, it, that you're, you eventually tr uh, create a habit within your mind to think that way, that the words that you're actually saying. Yes. Uh, they, like, 
related to the positive affirmations that you're talking about. Yeah, uh, I was saying what I wanted to become. I just kept saying it. I just kept saying it, and I feel those words now. I feel them. It's they're 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 in me. They're a part of me now. You know, and um, I don't know. It's just it's just amazing. I I love. I, I love how my transformation evolved because I know what it's like to cry every day. I know what it's like to not want to wake up. I know what it's like to feel empty inside. And it's not a good feeling to feel empty, you know, and then we blame the world and we'll realize, well, okay, well, it's still affecting me, though, you know? So yeah, it's just personal development and leading yourself first. Yeah. It, is so vital. Like first discover you. If you are wanting to be a leader or you want to become a better leader, lead yourself first. You know, be the leader that you've always wanted. Be that leader to people. Do good, be good, walk in integrity. And I will tell you, it pays off great dividends when we do that it really really does you know and it's just the power of the law of reciprocity when we do good when we give good it it comes right back to us again same thing you know if we are not great leaders and we hurt people you know and no one knows that we're hurting people trust me that comes back to you as well. There's no way that anybody can truly prosper if we are not, you know, seeing the good in others, seeing the best in others, and giving grace to others. Because give what you want given to you. And this is the this is the kind of leadership that I was have learned from, and it has grown me a lot. Now Mind you, I still have a lot to learn myself. I still do. I'm still learning a lot. But from what I have learned, I know that that has worked best for me. And there's nothing like going to bed at night knowing that you have given your best as a leader. I mean, not being perfect, but at heart, giving your best to people. I am telling you, how can anybody not succeed? And, you know, like I said, it goes back to think about what you want for yourself. Think about how you want to be treated and treat others the same way. But I also like what uh, the fact that you understood that you needed to forgive yourself. You understood that you needed to basically reprogram your, you know, your mentality with affirmation. But not just that, but the actual massive action that you're taking and uh, knowing that your purpose, this gift that you have, right, of, of uh, empowering a woman, and you committed to that, basically, right? You went and, and do uh, three years of um, interviewing Yes. Women's power, so to speak, right, and, and get their stories. So, I, you know, the affirmations are great, but I hear you say that massive action as well that you're taking is what you uh, have to take massive action. That's where the momentum is. I do want to share when I first began, and how you know, people have always asked me like, "Well, how did you get there? Like, what's your, what steps did you take?" It's not steps. It's what's your next step and you won't know your next step until you take the next step <laughs> and I know that sounds crazy I'll never forget um interviewing uh, uh this amazing woman and she she's like this millionaire and I thought to myself I want to ask her for coffee I just want to talk to her and so I invited her over to, for coffee and I sat with her I said I just have three questions for you just three but the first one is how when do you know what your next step is <laughs> She looked at me and she said, Sonia, I can't answer that for you because it's your lane, it's your journey, and you're going to know when that next step is. And I was like, well, I was upset inside. I'm like, that's not the answer I wanted. I wanted her to tell me, but now I get it. 
I get it now. You know, like you won't know your next step until you do the next step. And here was my big step that I took, you know, a few years ago that literally um, catapulted me. I remember going to a youth conference and I remember sitting in the back and there were like 200 youth and I saw this speaker and I'm sitting against the wall and he's speaking to these kids and he's so impactful and he's got, he has like the youth, um, he has all their attention. They're like right there, like, like totally listening to them. And I remember standing in the back going, how does he do that? Like, how does he do that? You know, and I wanted to cry inside. I go, I would love to be like him one day. Like, how does he do that? And I remember, listen, everyone. I remember say, having the courage. I was like, I'm going to go up to this guy and I'm just going to talk to him. And deathly afraid. Because remember, I had no confidence at the time. Deathly afraid. I'm way in the back. I go, he's done speaking. I go on stage and I said, hi. My name is Sonia. <laughs> How do you do what you do? <laughs> I, I didn't know what to say. I just remember saying, How do you do what you do? And I'm shaking inside because I'm just like so nervous. And he looked at me and said, Sonia, I'm going to the Philippines in two weeks with my wife. If you come with me, I will mentor you night and day. Wow. For two weeks. I'll tell you what happened at the moment he said that to me. I felt like a baby in my womb leaped. I, like something was going to be born. I, I'm not, not kidding. And I knew that my answer was going to be yes. So I told him I would get back to him the next day. I walked away from him going, I'm going to the Philippines. So I found myself two weeks later on a plane to the Philippines, on my way to the Philippines with two total strangers. Wow. It changed my life. It changed my life forever. But see, that was my next step. When I came back from the Philippines, my next step was reading self-development -de books. That was my next step. My next step after that was going to conferences you know, on leadership and self-development. That was my next step. But I didn't know those steps until I stepped in, if that makes sense. And you ask people too, for right here. Huh? I, I see that you're not afraid of asking people either. <laughs> no, no, but shaking inside. And, and that's the thing that we, we do have to have the courage to make that phone call, to ask, like, don't be afraid, like do it because you never know what's on the other side. We won't know. If we don't ask, right? And so I am very grateful. I still continue to ask. I, I think I have more courage now. Like you were saying, Leo, earlier, like how did you get all these women to get in this book? I asked. <laughs> That's what I did. I, I committed last summer to get on the phone phone and to speak to everyone that came to my heart everyone that came to my heart I thought, I'm gonna call them I'm gonna share my vision you know and I'll tell you uh, most of them said yes wow. and so it's it's that has was an incredible journey all by itself so here we are now all of them are very excited about the book themselves because they also know that this is the beginning also of their new journey. Mm. And so that's exciting. Now they probably at this moment don't know like exactly what it's going to look like after our big event, but guess what? Maybe at the event, they'll find out mm -hmm. just like with me. Right. Uh, so it's just really exciting. I also now have the opportunity to travel and speak nationwide um, beginning in May, and I am just delighted to know that I will be traveling with both books. So I have Destiny Talks, and I will have um, a Butt Naked Leadership with me. So this book, you know, I'm just gonna take. I'm gonna take it to the world. 
because these stories are that transformational and that amazing and my own personal story. I can't stop now. I can't stop now because every woman, every man as well has a purpose. We were born for this. And if we don't do anything about it, we're just going to die and then what? We just lived and now we're dead. Like, no, we were supposed to come and impact people's lives so that they can also, you know, launch and, and be in their strength and impact. It's People just, effect. Absolutely. It, it is just, it's a beautiful thing, but this is what we were born to do. This is it. And so, man, if I can even start a movement of this, like, telling people, do you know your purpose, <laughs> you know, and tell me your story and I'll help you find your purpose, you know, wow. it's just exciting. I, I love this. And just the idea, like even me, I don't know what my life looks like six months from now with clarity. I honestly do not know, but guess what? I'll take the next step. Okay. I'll take the next step. That's great. So I guess that will leave us to a transition if you can, because what I want to do is if um, we have, you know, some people over here. So I want to give it a chance to people that are in um, in the call and are or join the webinar to ask, talk to you, get to talk to you directly and ask questions. Um, if everybody's okay, I'm gonna mute here very soon. But I wanted to, if you, I was wondering if you can share with us um, the transition over right to what's coming up right now, what you have coming up. And if you have anything that you want to share with us. Well. All right. Awesome. Well, I'm very, very, very excited to share that our that the book, the Destiny Talks book is going to be published March 20th. And, you know, and so we want everyone to purchase the book that day. It's going to be at a very discounted price because our goal is to make it number one on amazon.com. So that's the, the real exciting part. But yes, we are going to get the word out. We want as many people to purchase the book on that particular day. So March 20th is a very, very, very important day. And also May 9th is the Destiny Talks book launch event. That is going to be an amazing, incredible evening celebrating all the 21 women that are in the book. And it's also going to be a book signing event. It's going to be a networking event. And it's just going to be incredible. So we're, all the women are going to have a, a, a time to, to share their heart about the story and may and maybe their next big move, you know. So it's going to be very exciting. We will have vendor tables. I believe a lot of the women that are going to be in the book are going to have vendor tables okay. on their um, on on in their business from their business. So in the event, we're going to have the chance to meet the the women you interview. Yes, Hurrah. yes. So I welcome everyone to come and personally meet all these women and. I will, I guess I can also, I'll just say it right now. I will also be launching another, another book with more women. So here I go. You know, this one has been really like learning and going through the trenches, but I inside at a heart level, I did enjoy it as well. And I want to give many, many more opportunities for other women to also share their story of transformation. Great, thank you for that. And if you can tell us, if you like people to connect with you, where would it be best for them to connect with you? Absolutely, okay, so you guys can actually, the best way to connect with me like right now would most definitely will be Facebook at the Destiny Women Global page or my personal page, uh, Sonia Hassi. So you can connect with me there. I also have a website, destinywomenglobal.com. And right now it's, um, it's going to be relaunched on Wednesday. So, so stay tuned for that. That's why I haven't shared my, my website yet because it's being updated right now. So those are the two places, um, Instagram, LinkedIn, under my name, Sonia Hassi, also. And I also wanna share that I also have two programs, um, 
One of them is the one-on-one, -on -one, no, it's, um, well, I do have a one-on-one -on -one VIP program helping women discover their purpose. If there are women out there that don't fully know, like they're also searching and they, have, they don't have clarity on their life purpose, um, that's when I love to work on them one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but I also have on, on Facebook, uh, it's a private page, it's called Millionaire Mindset. And what I do is I, I coach a group of women there. So I come on every Monday at 930 and I go live and I am mentoring and coaching women. And that is a very, very safe place where women can come and be mentored uh, once a week for 30 minutes and um, at a very, very minimal cost. So if anybody's interested in the millionaire mindset, please connect with me. I would love to share more of that with you. And you say Facebook, it will be Sonia Hassey, H-A-S-S-E-Y. And I put yeah. the, um, the link there for everybody that is in the webinar um, to Sonia's profile. Yeah. Um, so thank you for that. But let's go ahead and um, see if anybody has any questions for you. I'm not sure if anybody wants to come out um, and ask Sonia. Um, either about a book, about story about her, or about um, what she got coming up. And if anybody's interested in having a vendor table at the event, please connect with me as well. Where is the book launch going to be held? It's going to be held at the Clarion Hotel in Cooper. So if you go to Facebook, you can go to the event page of the Destiny Talks book launch event, or you can private message me and I can also send you the link as well. Um, that's where it's, you know, all the information is going to be there. But so it will be at the Clarion Hotel in Concord on May 9th from six to nine. And I'm going to put the address here. Awesome. It's a 1050 Burnett Avenue in Concord? Yes, yes. All right. So, got the address there. And Inga, you can, um, I can share that with you as well. Um, later, so let's see. Oops, I don't wanna do that. Anybody else? Um, Thank you, Pam. Pam, Pam Davis says, great interview. Thank you. Thank you and uh, anybody wants to come out and ask questions, don't be shy. Um, don't be shy. <laughs> don't be shy. Yeah. I'm not go, shy yeah. anymore. <laughs> oh, hello. 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 Yeah. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Hi, this is Donna. Hello. And I was a little late getting on. Can you hear me? Yes, we can, Donna. Okay, so I was a little late um, getting in, but I got most of it. And um, actually, I've listened to everything, and um, it all sounds pretty good. I would be interested in going, but I'm not uh, at your launching but of your book. But I, where is it? Where is it going to be? I missed that. In Concord. And what day is that going to be on? Uh, go ahead. It's going Can to you hear me? Concord. It's going to be in Concord at the Clarion Hotel on May 9th. Okay. Yes. What and night? Goes, um, May 9th. It is a Thursday night. Oh, May 9th. Okay. May 9th. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's going to be okay. uh, an amazing celebration, book signing event, networking event. And okay. come and meet the co authors. They Okay. It's an incredible evening. It's the Clarion, right? Yes. Okay. I don't want to make a promise that I'll be there, but I'm off on Thursday, so I'll see how it goes. Oh, yay. Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> because you my, March, my March calendar is pretty full. Uh-oh. It's crazy full, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. For May. This is May. This is May 9th. Yeah, but this is, oh, okay. This is May. Not this March. Is, you're right. May this is in May. I'm thinking, oh. I'm thinking March. I don't know. I keep March in my head because 
it's so crazy this month for me. So yeah. lots of stuff going on. Yeah. So okay, May. I'll put that on my uh, May calendar and see. Oh, that would be great. Oh. We would love to have you. Yes. And meet you. Yes. Yes. That's that's interesting. Butt naked. That's the name of one of the books. That's that's my personal book. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and your personal talks book. with the 21 women leaders. Yes. Okay, and your name again is because I missed that. I came in late. What's your name? It's Sonia Hassey. Sonia with an I. Sonia. Yes. Okay. And Donna, I'll send you the information as well. Okay. Or, uh, right, I just wrote it down. Okay, good. Great. Awesome. Everything sounds pretty good. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Well, have a good night. I'm going to sign you. off now. Okay. You're welcome. And uh, plenty success with your work. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very you're much. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. Anybody else that um like to say a few words? Questions? There's someone saying, how do I ask a question via the <laughs> microphone? Inga, we can hear you, Inga. You can? Yes. yes. Oh, blimey, I didn't realize that. <laughs> okay, so Sonia, yes. how did, what was the most instrumental, either book or person who got you into getting, it, well, got you into personal development where you knew you had to make a change in yourself? Okay, what was that first part again? Who or what was the most instrumental person or influence or book who got you or that got you into saying, I have to change myself in order to move forward? That's a great question. And I will tell you that I took the Dale Carnegie course. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I left stripped. I, I can't explain it. Like all the, the fear, everything I left there. I was like forced to go and speak, but they did it. In, they allowed me to grow in such a way with so much grace, you know, not fear, but grace. And I would speak crying because I was so intimidated and still so very scared and um it's it was a three hour uh three hours a week course and man it was it was deep work deep work i would say del carnegie and i still use his principles to uh -huh. this day well, definitely thank Most you well, leo knows i'm social media challenged at the best of times and when you're talking about confidence I'm yes. a lot older than you, and I'm still dealing with that issue. So that's very heartening to hear. Yes, and I will tell you, I will personally tell you that I still get like that as well when it comes to social media. And I'm still trying to figure that out because I can easily go on stage right now in front of a thousand people. No problem. But when I'm feeling like I need to share my heart, I need to put something out there, I still hesitate just a tiny little bit. So uh, I, I think it's good to have a little bit of fear, but not to allow us, not to allow it to paralyze us. Don't let fear paralyze us, but give it, but get enough fear enough to, to stretch us. Because well, we at least you, always be stretching. You're on video now, and that's one of my main... Eek. Oh, my God, I can't do that sort of thing. And there you are, happily talking, and Leah's there, and I think, bloody hell, one of these days. Yeah. About eight years ago, I would never do this, ever. There's <laughs> no way I would ever do this. I had to take some courses on speaking and public speaking, which was the Dale Carnegie, you know. Uh, oh, man. I recommend everyone to take that course. And then also the Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill. I dug deep, deep, deep on that one. It, it was even the, it was actually the 15 laws of success. If you guys can see my fingers, that's how thick the book is. I read it all. And that was how I dug deep on the Napoleon Hill personal development. 
good, good stuff. I read all of Dale Carnegie books. I was definitely, um, yeah, I was a geek for a few years, just hogging up all this personal development. But at the same time, I was hungry because I was empty inside. I didn't know how to go about it. I would go to church. I'm so, I remember going to church. I'm going, God, somebody pray for me. Like, I need help. Oh, I just remember, you know. Oh, and But when we decide, when we make that decision to say, yes, yes to my destiny, but I don't know what it looks like. But yes to my destiny. Love it. You're going to meet that right person. You're going to get that right phone call. It, it, it's just incredible. It's almost like, God wants us to say yes first by faith. And then once we say yes, then everything starts lining up. Like when I said yes in my heart, like, yes, I want to discover my purpose. I'm saying yes. Then I, I went and saw that speaker when he was speaking to all those young people. How did I know that, I, that he was part of my, my crossroads to my destiny? Right? So I always tell women, don't people a lot of women that I have coached will say they go no because I don't have enough money because I don't this and I don't that can you by faith in your heart say yes first then watch doors open because to be honest with you like now looking back and calculating I have probably spent about twenty one thousand dollars on coaching and don't ask me where the money came from. Don't even ask me. I don't know. It was paid off in full. But I said yes to my destiny. And the money came. And if I can encourage all women to please say yes to your dream. Say yes to your destiny. And watch how everything starts lining up for you. But in, if you are putting a block in your mindset to say, no, because I don't have the money and no, because, you know, um, I don't live in the city and no, because of this, and you, you're building your own obstacles. So you have to believe and just, just say yes, <laughs> just say yes. And, and just watch, watch the, the roads open, watch the transformation happen, watch you meet the right people at the right time, at the right season. It, it's just incredible. It's just incredible. I love it. I love it. That's where the magic happens <laughs> when well, we say yes and then take action. <laughs> well, thank you, Sonia, because actually that is really, really important. You know, yes, yes to my destiny even though I don't know yet what it looks like. That is, that struck a chord with me big. Oh, good. I mean, that is just amazing. Leo, that needs to go into your little thingy when you send out to people, because that is really amazing. Oh, yay. <laughs> oh, man. I love, thank you for sharing, because I love when that happens. I really do. When someone can grab a nugget and say, I'm going to run with that nugget. Now, don't let it go, okay? And so tomorrow or even now, say yes to everyone that's listening. Just say yes to your destiny right now and watch what happens even tomorrow. Yes. I'm not, you. Kidding you. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. We were born for destiny. We were born for purpose. And so how can it not line up for us? How can it not? It will. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, great. Um, Pam, I think, uh, Pam, you, can you talk? Pam Davis? Pam! I think you were asking Pam. a question. Because Pam put out a question there. Can you give an example? What would it be like to be coached by you? Yes. We just uh, had an example. That's a, that's, <laughs> a great, that's a great question, Pam. Oh, man, Pam, I, I go deep. I go deep. I first and foremost literally have to listen to the full story of the person that, you know, is going to be a possible, you know, um, coaching client. I need to hear them out. I need to like, even spiritually, like feel like, and believe that I can really work. I could see the areas that need, you know, um, the development, the breakthrough, and 
I, I can honestly tell you that I, I'm very, um, I have a very strong intuition. So even when I'm speaking to people, I can like stop them and go right to the heart. I can go like right there. And it's just incredible. I, I, I can honestly tell you that that is a gift that, uh, that God has given me is the gift to really speak from even a spirit level where it, the, the truth just like breaks and it's the transformation. And so I, that's why I'm a life purpose coach because I, this is my strong belief that, you know, we all have a purpose and when we can dissect the story, we can dissect it, put it in front of us and then we can work that out and then get unstuck. But um, yeah, th this is that the one-on-one -on -one coachings I can tell you are my favorite parts because when we, when the women get the aha moments, like, oh my God, it took me all, all these years to figure this out. And sometimes it does take another person as a part of the journey. So it's really, it's, it's really awesome. Yeah. So you need a consultation first, like going to the doctor. Yeah. Get that yes, start. yes. That is and I love to meet people where they're at. So I'm not going to come in and just go all over the place. I, that's why it's very important to listen because I love to meet people exactly where they're at and then grow from there. Thank you. That's and important. Pam, Pam Davis says, sounds good. So. Awesome. I'm gonna connect it. Um, I think um, we have Sonia, about I'd like to say something. Hi, Anita. Anita. I joined because I, you know, I knew you from the beginning, and I just yes. wanted to say congratulations, and I'm so proud of you. Thank because you. Because I so remember much. when you started and all the work you did, and how we went through steps, and, and oh you made it. I can see say that you've made it to where you you said you were going to go from the beginning. Oh my gosh! And you have have been an inspiration for me. You know, I'm in my career, but I'm semi you know retired now I'm, I'm with my grandchildren a lot but i still do my job but um it's wonderful to see you doing all these great things and i would love to come to one of your meetings but it's hard for me to come at night yes but um i will join your webinars or whatever because i like that comfort you know to be yes. in your home and just watch you even like i am right now but yes. i'm really proud of you and i think you're awesome and Congratulations. Thank you so much, Anita. Now, Anita has been with me from the beginning. I started um, the program in Galt, California. And I, Anita remembers me when I did everything scared. Anita was there when I yes. did it. I did it scared. I did it shaking. I made crazy mistakes. But you just got to keep showing up. It's not about perfection, you guys. That's another key. It's not about perfection. It's about just perfection. stepping out into your purpose. Because you know what? People see, feel heart. That's what they're wanting is heart. Heart-driven leaders, you know, women that they, they want to feel the, the realness. And if, so if you make a mistake, let it go. Don't even, don't look for perfection. Just stand your ground, stay on purpose know your next big move, and take action. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, well, thank you, Sonia, for, and everybody for attending. And thanks, Sonia, for coming on, right, and telling us. Uh, um, I want to be respectful of everybody, everybody's time. Um, if you want to reach out to Sonia, she, you can find her on Facebook, preferably. Yes. Yeah. Um, so for Sonia Hasse, um, uh, and yeah. Yes, and you guys come to the event May 9th. May 9th. Event. I would love to have all of you guys come and meet these incredible women. It's going to be an incredible, incredible evening. Wonderful time of networking. And March 20th is the book launch. So you guys will see us on all social media. And please, you know, if you can help us by purchasing the book at a very discounted price. Uh, we would appreciate that and you won't regret it it's going to be a very powerful book all right thank you then yeah. all right everyone good night and uh good night. have a good one good night. Thank you. good night thank you sonia good night
Good night. Good night. Thank you, Thank you guys for showing up. Bye-bye. Good night.